good people are supposed to end up with good people. That's how things should be. And now Allah is saying these rules that I have given you is to help make that a reality. I was, I was having a, a debate with one of my friends and the point that we were making or well, the point that he was, the point that I was making is that good men are for good women and good women are for good men and vice versa. So he, his point was to me that, okay, if Allah says this in the Quran, why is it so that realistically is a bit subjective, but he was saying that all the people that he knows in his life where the men are great or the women are horrible right, or vice right, versa. Right, so right. for example, if an atheist was to say the same thing, then what would you say to the atheist? Or? Very cool. What's your, what's, what's your name? A jihad. Nice name. Okay. <laughs> Okay, my politically incorrect friend, uh, Jihad. <laughs> um, if I say, I, I'll give you an example. Uh, imagine you teach at a kindergarten, okay? And you put a jar of candy over here. And then you tell students, this candy is for the students who finish their, uh, aside, the, the paper. They're all filling in the colors. Whoever finishes coloring, they get this candy, right? So... This jar is for the students who finish. Is it possible that a student who didn't finish goes, runs over and grabs it? And then somebody else comes along. But the truth is, this jar was for the students who finished. How can someone grab it? Right? Allah says good men are for good women. Filthy men are for filthy women and vice versa. What's he actually saying? Good men are supposed to be for Good women and filthy are supposed to be with filthy. He's not saying they are as a matter of fact. If that was the case, why would Lut be married to his wife? Why, why would Fir'aun be married to Asiya? We don't have to go to nowadays you find bad couples. There's bad couples in the Quran, bro. <laughs> Lots of bad couples in the Quran. Why would that happen? Would it happen? Allah is saying good people are supposed to end up with Good people, that's how things should be. And now Allah is saying these rules that I have given you is to help make that a reality. That's what Allah is saying. He's not saying good men always end up with good women and bad men always end up with bad women. Lots of bad men end up with very good women and lots of good men end up with very bad women and the other way around.